A student sexually assaulted at an elite New Hampshire prep school is in a legal battle this morning to keep her identity private. Owen Labrie was convicted in the case that drew national attention. The victim's family filed a civil suit in June against St. Paul's School. The family claims the school condoned, quote, a tradition of ritualized statutory rape. Now, the school denies this allegation and says if the case goes to trial, the plaintiff's quote should not be allowed to hide behind a cloak of anonymity and lob attacks. But it also tells CBS News in a statement that while it has no desire or intention to reveal the identity of the young woman, it will work to ensure that the case is fairly considered in court proceedings and not through media attacks. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman joins us at the table to discuss. Ricky, good morning. Good morning. So Owen Labrie was convicted in the criminal case, but the civil case is different. What is, what is the family alleging that the school is doing, and do they have a case? Yes, they have a case. And what the family is saying is that the school not only condoned a culture where minor women could be sexually assaulted by older men because it was the senior salute that is a senior boy who would go after a freshman girl in order to score whatever that meant and that it was institutionalized and as a result the plaintiff says look they breached a duty of care. They're negligent. They inflicted emotional distress. They had premises that were unsafe. All of these are recognized ways to go to court and sue an entity. So should the victim be identified? Well, that, of course, is the ultimate question. We have to look, Charlie, at what this motion really says, as opposed to how it may have been reported in the news. The motion is looking for three things. The motion is looking for a gag order, and that's really what these defense lawyers are really mad about. What they say is they were sabotaged, that what happened was the plaintiff's lawyers filed a complaint. They had not even gotten a copy of it. The plaintiff's lawyers went on a media barrage, and that what they want is to get the plaintiff's lawyers to stop talking. Well, if they had just filed that motion, it probably would have been successful. Unfortunately for the defense, they combined it with this idea of saying, look, we'll let you go under a pseudonym. That's okay. You can be Jane and John Doe, parents of JD, but in exchange, our little quid pro quo, is you've got to stop talking. Mm -hmm. And that that's really not how this should be done. They want to have her name open in two ways. Number one, discovery. How do we get medical records of a girl who says that she's psychologically distressed, emotionally distressed, if we have to serve a subpoena that says JD? Mm -hmm. We need her name. Well, that's reasonable. That doesn't become public. But when they go and say at trial, which could be years from now, we want to expose her. Yeah. She's still a minor for a couple of more months. Yeah, but by the time it goes to trial, she won't be a minor. Does that matter at all? Her I age? think it does matter. I think that we always protect minors across the country. We never let out their names in litigation or juvenile courts in criminal proceedings. But what we do here is we find out at the time she's an adult, at times of trial, there have been cases that have said the pseudonym, the Jane Doe, has got to go. Is this precedent setting? It could be precedent setting, even though these cases have been done many times before. This is not a new thing. The reason it could be precedent setting here and cause a terrible chilling effect on women who would like to come forward mm -hmm. who are underage or who have simply been sexual assault victims is that this case is so infamous. Yeah. The entire press corps that went there was not only national, it was international. So we don't want women to feel, young or old, that they could not go forward in a civil case because their names will be made public. However, they could have dealt with the thought of making her name public at trial mm -hmm. a year or two years from now. The fact that they've done it now, when they're a school, and a school is supposed to be a place that nurtures their students, that that's really why they have endured so much bad, bad publicity here. Do you see this backfiring more on the school? Well, I think it's backfiring enough now. I think that um, they made a calculated choice, but this calculation may have been in error. Thanks, right. Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you.